Hello everyone, my name is Robin K. Wilson. I am the Partner Integration Engineer on the Mozilla Hubs team, and I am going to help you deploy Hubs Cloud on AWS. So to get started, go on and click the Quick Start Guide to follow along. For this part one of the tutorial, I will be going through before creating the Hubs Cloud Stack steps. That includes registering domains on Route 53. Let's look at the domain recipes documentation. For this one, I will be going through recipe number one, and it tells me how many domains that I do need. I need one for my main domain slash internal domain and for the short link domain as well. And here are the stack options when I deploy the stack. On AWS's homepage, feel free to create an account if you have not done so already. And if you have, go to the AWS Management Console in the dropdown. The AWS console is the main place to look through all of AWS's services. We'll be using it a lot, so be prepared. And starting with Route 53. So we can come down to register domain and type in the domain that we would like. I'm looking up Hello Hubs Cloud, and I may or may not already know that it is in fact unavailable. Yep. And now I'm going to add a two. Let's see if that's available. It is, add to cart. And now for the short link, the second one. I'm gonna look up dot link. Yep, and let's do HHC2. That sounds short and sweet. Good, add to cart. And then scroll down to continue. And once that process is finished, AWS will send you a confirmation email for your domains. And now you'll see pending requests. You'll have your two domains sitting there. You can't deploy the stack until they are completely finished. So hang tight. Now that your domains are registered, we can see them in the registered domains menu. And I want to point your attention to the transfer lock. We need both of them to be X's. So click on disable the transfer lock for the, at least for me, it was the link. And about 15 minutes later or so, it will be complete and you will have both X's on the transfer lock. So this is good. We can now move on to the next step. And the next step is to create SSH key pair to access your servers. So on the AWS documentation, we go to the EC2 console. We could look it up on the AWS management console, but not going to for this time. Uh, now scroll down to key pairs. And let's create a new key pair. Since my SSH key is affiliated with my MacBook Pro, I'm going to be calling it a name as such. So Robin KW, MacBook Pro, makes sense. I am on a Unix machine, so I am going to be using PEM as the file format. If you are on Windows, use PPK for PuTTY. And let's save it. So most people will not be using the SSH key to SSH into your servers, but for advanced users, you likely will. So it's good to have and you need it for setup. So you can't get out of this step. Cool, mine is all saved. We are now completely finished with everything that we need to do before creating the Hubs Cloud Stack. So we are finally ready to deploy. And we're gonna go back to that first page that we were at, which is hubs.millzilla.com slash cloud. And see you in the next video.